Hello, Brian's Pickles here. Today we are here with a new server plugin tutorial. And today's plugin we are doing is called the Chat Manager plugin. So today's plugin has got 10 commands on this board here for you today. And I'm going to be showing you how to use every single command as well as use the config file as well as of other files which are provided with this plugin. So the first one first command here is called the message peak so this is basically you can spy on people's private messages uh, so if we just enable it so message peak on so you'll see here it's been enabled so if we just go to another minecraft account here and let's message brands pickled saying hey and you'll see it's been mess sent the message saying ollie has sent a message to brands pickled saying hey and then if we just go to my account you'll see the message has been received as well as the message peak Ollie T message brands pickled saying hey that's basically what message peak does and you basically can see if anyone's hacking or not so if we just disable that for now so the next one is the warning system so if we do for us warn uh, Ollie T for like swearing so you'll see you have gave a warning to Ollie T and then Ollie T has one warning and you see if I go to Ollie T's you have one warning so if we just give him two more warnings like so you'll see Ollie T has been left has basically left the game this means he's been kicked from the server so if we just go back and reconnect he is cur currently fine and he's just fine as normal he can still talk and everything it's just been kicked on the server with a warning well for a free one isn't it? uh... and then if you want to delete the warnings you just do forward slash delete warnings brand uh... ollie t so if we just go to the config file quickly like so and i'll show you the database for his profile quickly you'll see here his warning system so you can see there's three warnings which i have given him in game and there's this warning count is free so the first one is obviously swearing, the second one's also swearing, and the last one's swearing. But the last one's different than the other two. The last one is an auto kick. That basically means he's been kicked from the server from the third warning. You can change this in the config file. So if someone gets the warning for the second time, you can auto kick them. If you've been swearing for the first time, you can give them the auto mute straight away. Uh, so if I just return back to there and let's go back to Minecraft and let's. Un, uh, let's delete the warning. So del Dell warning, and then his name. So Ollie T. And you have to do this three times to remove all of his warnings, like so. The next one is name broadcast and broadcast, which are basically the same, but one of them's got your name in it, and that is the one what says name broadcast. So if we just do name broadcast, saying hey you'll see it's been broadcast to all servers, uh, all players, sorry, in the server. Like so. And then if we just do just a normal broadcast, saying hey, you'll see it's been broadcast without the name. Like so. The next one is the clear chat um, system. So CC is just to clean everyone's chat, like so. It's all blank and clean. And let me just spam the chat quickly. I am an operator, so I can bypass everything. Uh, and you see here, it's been spammed. So if I just do PCC, then Ollie's, and that will clear Ollie's chat, like so. And if I want to clear my own, just do for slash SCC. Means self clear chat, or person, or player clear chat, or just clear chat in general. And that's basically clear the chat. Uh, again, the mute, there's a muting system for this one. So if we just do for slash mute Ollie T, and there we go, you see it's been muted. If I would go to Ollie T's screen, you will say you'll be muted by Brands Pickled, which is awesome. So if we just go to the config file again and edit this config file, and you'll see here the mute system. He is currently muted with the mute count one. This basically tells is how many times he's been muted and if he's still muted still so if we just return back to files and let's unmute him and he has been unmuted Ollie's screen 
you have now been unmuted. Like so. So the next command is chat on and chat off. If you want to turn everyone's chat off so they will not have received any chats at all, just use the command chat off and it will say Brands Pickle has turned the chat off. But if you have got the permission or you're an operator, you can bypass that, like so. But if we go to Ollie's one, which is not an op, and type hey, you'll see the chat has been disabled, Ollie. Uh, so if we just turn the chat back on, like so, I've turned the chat back on, I can still type, as well as Ollie should be able to type now, like so. Uh, and then the next one is chat manager version. And this basically tells you the version of the plugin, which is the latest version, which is 40.1.12. And then if we do help, this will show you all commands as well as the description. So blue is commands and then orange is the description about that command. And then chat info, chat manager info. And this will give you the information about the author of the actual plugin, basically who created it. Uh, the plugin link and then his other plugins. And then if we just do chat manager join, this will tell me I've joined the server to every single person who's joined. Uh, so if we just go to Ollie's screen, you'll see Brands Pickle has joined the server, but in fact he's actually over there still. So if we just go and do a fake leave, you'll see I have not left the game, and it's just broadcasted simply in the game, like so. And then the last command is the menu, and this is basically if you're too lazy and you don't want to write the commands, just do chat manager menu, and you can literally just click on one of these and basically it just simply just does it for you so if we just go to our spigot page now so spigot here we go and here's the plugin version one uh, version 40.1.12 so basically here's all the features which I've gone through apart from the swearing system so if we just quickly go through the swearing system like I was saying there's a blacklist so if I type forward slash list is this yeah if I type list is basically don't say that list it's basically that list is a swearing word or a blacklisted word what's on the config file what's it's automatically on that file when you download the plugin so if we just go to the com uh, the speaker page again and here's all the features which I've just gone through the commands like so the screenshots of all the stuff then basically the sign tutorial so for an example if we just quickly do this the chat manager global like so I've cleared the chat for global it's really simple And so let's go back to the speaker page. And it will show you more information. If you have any problems, go to my, my uh, Discord, which is in the description, or go to the speaker page and actually talk to the developer in his own dis uh, Discord. So now, the config file. Like so. Let's edit this file. So here's the prefix. So it's green with a bold. Uh, font. So if we just change this to my server name, Chaos Craft, like so. And I don't like everything bold, so that's fine how that is. And then the version, don't edit that basically. Then the permissions, etc. Again, this is all bold, I don't like everything bold. Like that. And then this is all the clear chat which you can see here. So if you like that. And then this is a chat off and on. Like so. Chat re auto restarts. Yeah. And this is the menu board. So this is what order. So we want to close as the last, what, last one like so. Because if we just go to Minecraft now. If we go to menu. No that's the wrong Minecraft you'll see it's here I'm going to move it to this corner here this one 
into this corner. Basically, it goes in order. So, so fake join is four or three, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's three because it goes zero, one, two, three, four. So four is help, if I'm correct. There we go. So I've just changed that one to fifty-three, like so. Oh, it's just it says there anyway, zero to fifty-three. Don't use the same number twice because it won't work. It won't show up. It just gives a bug to command uh, to the uh, console for the staff member staff members to see. Uh, again, this is a warn message. And the staff chat format, and then no message, and then notification. So send a message, receive a message, etc. So for example, basically it just highlights and notifies you, like so. But that's how you config it. It depends how you want to do it. Uh, and then the auto swear again. Here's all the swear list. So I said list in the server. So if I just add that into the swear list, like so, and it will say Brand Pickled said this swear word, and that sends to an admin. And then for no the swear message, it was say your name. Please don't say the word. Basically. And then the message warnings, this will just automatically give you warnings. So if someone gets five warnings, they get muted. Three warnings, they get kicked, like so. And here's all the placeholders. So if I wanted to say, like, change target, say, like this one, I'll just basically change that to a target, which is already target ready. So, example, name. Well, this is a. Basically, the target, so the target player. So, example, I'm Mutant Ollie. That target is Ollie. And then here's all the placeholders, like so. And that's the everything in the config file, basically. It's very simple, very color coded. And that's awesome. So, if we just go and look at Ollie's data file again. You will see his location, his world, what he's in, his game mode, his health, his hunger, his XP level, his username, uh, UID, how many times he's logged into the server, he's not muted, how many times he's been muted, warning systems, when his wa a warning's been deleted it says reset like so, and if he's got message peak enabled or disabled. So for example, if we look at mine, like so, mine just be all clear and saying I'm in creative, simple. Uh, so if we just go back to the plugin, uh, to the server, sorry, and just reload your server, or restart it. So I'm just going to risk reloading it, like so. And if I just do forward slash chat manager join, you'll see Chaoscraft here, Brian's pickled, blah blah blah. So if I go to Ollie's screen and try to say the swear word, there we go. Please don't say the word, basically. And then if we just do menu, you'll see it's in the bottom right corner now, like so. That's basically the plugin. It's a very awesome, simple plugin which you have on your server to look after your chat. And there's Ollie, so let's just go and attack him. But hey, I can't because there's no attacking in this region. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, if you need any help with the plugin, please basically comment that put the down below join the discord if you need help like asap or join his discord if you as well need help asap so yeah remember to like subscribe and peace